Hi, I'm Katherine Hurst from Katherine Hurst Contemporary Crafts, and I'm going to teach you some knitting techniques today. I'm going to show you how to make the moss stitch, which is a stitch pattern that combines knit and purl stitches. Moss stitch is a stitch pattern that combines knit and purl stitches, alternating knit and purl across a row. I'm going to show you how to do it. So we begin by knitting and purling across the row. Let's begin with a knit stitch, so yarn to the back, inserting the needle from the left, and make your knit stitch. We now need to make a purl stitch, so the yarn needs to come forward between the needles so that it's in the front. This time we're inserting our needle from the right because we're purling. We're going to wrap the yarn over the right hand needle and we're pushing to the back. That's the purl stitch. So yarn to the back, knitting, and yarn to the front, purling. And you're going to carry on doing that to the end of the row. Moss stitch produces a fairly dense, highly textured fabric that works really well for anything that you want to have that textured visual interest. It lays flat, it doesn't curl, works very well for borders and edging. You can make blanket squares, it seems to be very popular um, for scarves for men because it's a little bit interesting but not too fancy. Okay, so we've just knit and purled across the row and when we turn our work, we need to reverse them so that we need to knit the purl stitches on the other side and purl the knit stitches, which obviously means that we have to identify which is a knit stitch and which is a purl stitch. The purl stitches have those horizontal bumps under them and the knit stitch has the V underneath. So you're looking for bumps for purls and Vs for knits. So this first stitch in the row has a V, so that's a knit stitch, so we need to purl it because we're knitting the purls and purling the knits. So we're going to purl this stitch, bring the yarn forward to the front, insert the needle from the right, we're going to wrap that yarn and purl that stitch. Again, I'm taking my yarn to the back because this next stitch is a purl, which means I need to knit it. So inserting from the left, yarn in the back, and pulling through. Again, we've got a knit stitch here, so we're purling. Moss stitch is the opposite of ribbing. So with ribbing, you can alternate knits and purls across the row, but when you turn to the back, you knit the knits and purl the purls. With moss stitch, which is called seed stitch in the States and moss stitch in the UK, you want to reverse that. You want to knit the purls and purl the knits. So that's what I'm doing across this row, just knitting the purl stitches and purling the knit stitches. And that's all you have to do. You just keep turning, identifying that stitch. So for example, this first one, there's a purl, so we would knit that stitch. And this is the look of the fabric. You get that heavily textured, there's um, a modified version of it which is knit to purl to across the row and then you reverse it on the opposite side. That's also called moss stitch. But either way, it's very attractive stitch and very easy to make. And that's how you make moss stitch. <laughs>